Hi, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. Thank you for finding me. Uh, welcome to the neighborhood. I'm Jimmy from Jimmy's Neighborhood Bees. And uh, yeah, I'm a beekeeper. <laughs> Who knew? Anyway, today is a, a short one. It's kind of like story time, but uh, let me get let me get the fortune out of the way. And then we'll, we'll go with today. Let's see. Winners expect to win in advance. Life is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, yeah, I guess you can manifest things into an existence. You know? So if you expect to win, you'll win. Just do the hard work that it takes, right? Anyway, all right, today is December 7th, uh, 2023. It's Pearl Harbor Day. And uh, let me take some time out to thank those that came before me. I'm a Navy veteran. My wife is a Navy veteran. Uh, we were both stationed at Pearl Harbor. Um, in the early, mid-80s, I guess. Yeah, we're old. Um, which brings me to a quick story here. Um, when I re-enlisted in the Navy, I re-enlisted on the Arizona Memorial. There's a, there's a ceremony that takes place. There's an American flag that gets hoisted. And then you salute it and it's lowered and it's presented to you as the re-enlisted member. My wife was pregnant at the time. So we have pictures from that day, but I'm not gonna put that here. Um, but that flag we flew proudly at our home until it was uh, no longer in the shape to be flown. So we took it to the Virginia War Memorial. There's a ceremony that they do to retire uh, old uh, American flags that was done, um, tastefully done the way it's supposed to be. And um, and then uh, they, they exchange the flag. They'll give you one of your same size, but it doesn't ha it didn't have the same uh, meaning. Um, two years ago for our anniversary, I, uh, I contacted um, the Pacific Historic Parks Bookstore. Uh, they have run the official site for, and this is not sponsored. So um, just, just know that. But they run the site where you can order a flag that was flown at the Arizona Memorial. Um, so I ordered a flag to be flown on our anniversary on the Arizona Memorial. And the flag arrives in the mail, folded in plastic with the pertinent information, the date that it was flown and the time, 10, 10 a.m. Um, and what the significance is like Shannon and Jimmy's anniversary. Um, and then it's signed and, um, uh, yeah, by the person who does it. Um, you also get a, uh, a certificate that says this flag was flown in honor of Sharon and Jimmy's anniversary. So I, I, I bought a shadow box to put it in, but I procrastinate about everything and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> We're going to get a few of our, um, maybe Navy rankings or ratings um, and put it in the shadow box along with this flag. And we won't fly this one out. It'll just stay as presented in the shadow box. Anyway, so that's my little thing. Um, I want to thank all the other veterans out there uh, and people serving to this day. Um, thank you for what you do, what you did, and who you are. All right, that's enough of that. It's December 7th. Actually, the bees are flying. It was 53 degrees. I'll put Celsius right down here. Um, so I wrote down on here the date and the bees that are flying from both hives. So I don't have to open it up and look in at the bees. There's little activity coming in and out. There's nothing I'm going to do that's going to change anything right now, except make sure they have feed on top of the hive uh, going through winter. Um, I did that. I checked the... Uh, um, what do you call that? The fondant that I put on, the Hive Alive fondant, not sponsored, just what I use, and a lot of people too. I take my uh, my dry erase marker. I drew my circle around where the, I left the old circle there, and I drew my circle around where the the level is now that they've eaten. Um, looking at the progress, the uh, farmhouse hive, I probably got another, I don't know, three weeks to a month worth of finding, and the, the yellow hive, it's probably got uh, six weeks worth of finding left. They hardly ever touched it. 
but they did have an extra medium box that was mostly filled with honey. So they're not gonna feel the need to go up there and get more food. Um, however, the uh, farmhouse hive had, if I remember right, 12 frames of my XL frames and you know, just the top bands of honey. So, but the bees were still, I mean, I had eight frames of brood the last time I went in there. Brood, eight frames. And then the two outside was honey, mostly honey. I still have a frame with a, a deep's worth of honey in my freezer here. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, I use XL frames for my brood. And what the XL frames are, are uh, right here. This is one that I, I, I think I had this in my um, uh, swarm trap. However, uh, this is a regular deep frame. As you can see, these are my XLs. So it's basically a deep and a medium, all built into one frame without any kind of crossbar in the middle. The bees, as you can see, they start to, um, they start to wax it up and fill the gap with wax. They, it's usually a drone comb in there, uh, which is fine. We need drones. Um, but yeah, I'll probably put this either back in the, um, in the swarm trap uh, when it's time. But right now my swarm trap is hanging up in the tree. There's no frames in it. It's just there, ready. All I gotta do is bring it down, pull the top off, put my fry frames in there, and uh, hang it back up. Oh, take the, uh, I got aluminum tape over the hole, over the entrance. So pull that aluminum tape off, and then uh, swarm trap is ready. I got lemon oil, uh, lemongrass oil up here. So I'll bait the trap and uh, we'll leave it there. Uh, it's December, I'm just getting my boxes and stuff ready for spring. So I have two empty hives on the back stand back there and two um, empty, uh, what do you call it, five frame nuke boxes. My five frame nuke boxes hold the XL frames. So I will make sure that I have two uh, extra frames for the XL or three, I mean, three frames. And when I go to do my splits in the spring from the farmhouse hive, I'll take two frames of brood, eggs, brood, whatever it is, and the, and the old queen and put her in the nuke box and three new frames so that they can build out. And then I'll put in replacement frames in the farmhouse, XL frames. So they'll make their own queen. Um, and then I'll do the same with the storeroom hive here. Take two frames out, put it in the uh, nuke box, put three XL frames in there with the queen and she'll be in there. And then the yellow hive will swarm, make their own. Hopefully I'll catch it before there's any swarm cells. Um, so I'll start looking like early March, uh, if the weather allows, you know, and also, I'm going to check with my uh, state apiarist and my, uh, my bee club to see what everybody and when everybody does what they do for spring management to help limit or avoid swarming as much as possible. But I will have my swarm trap up. Anyway, that's it. That's all that's going on. Oh, that's not it. I also have a few more, excuse me, a few more frames that I need to build. Um... I only have, put that there. I think I only have three more top and bottom bars so I can build three more frames. But that's one of the things I'm, I'm probably gonna buy at the North American Honey Bee Expo, <coughs> excuse me, in Louisville. Um, I'll probably buy like 100 sets of deep frames, 100 deeps. Um, that way I'll probably use half of the deep side, side bars and build out 50 deep frames and maybe another, I don't know, 10 or 20 XL frames, maybe 10. I got up here 10, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, and then I'll, I'll uh, use the deeps for, <laughs> I know y'all hate hear, say, hear me say this. My daughter's long hive, if I, if I ever build them, I haven't started yet. I haven't bought any lumber for it yet. Uh, but once I get going, I get going, but I do procrastinate. 
Heck, this has been almost two, so almost two years that I've had the shadow box for for this uh, flag, and I haven't completed it. So we won't go into that. Don't tell Sharon; she doesn't watch. Believe it or not, she doesn't watch. I tell her, but she doesn't watch, so she'll never know. <laughs> anyway, we look forward to meeting everybody um, at the Honey Bee Expo. And if you see me, please don't 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 feel bad if if I don't recognize your name right off the bat. I mean, to me, 500 people watching what I do, I never in a million years would have expected that. I started recording just for me to see what I missed. And um, it just turned into put it online because my nephew in Louisiana wanted to watch me work the bees. And, and then that's how it all started. So uh, thanks, Kai. I know you're watching. Tell your grandmother you want bees. And your dad, tell your dad you want bees. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, you don't need to see me, Mark, to, to find it. You saw that in the last video. And, and I, I put a link to last year's when I first started marking the thing. Um, but I'm slowly, slowly purchasing things to start building my daughter's hives. So I got some more Reflectex besides what's in the hive. I got some more sitting up here on the shelf. Um, like I said, gonna have to have more uh, frames to go in her hive, cause she, her hive will be all deeps. Um, wherever the deep, hey, here's a deep. They'll be all deeps. So however long I make it, it could be 25, 28 frames. I don't really know yet, but uh, I gotta keep it manageable for me, cause she's not gonna do anything. So I got two weeks. I mean, I got to go up there every every two weeks or so to manage her bees, but I wanted it a standard long just in case I got to get with a beekeeper up there uh, to look in on them if I can't do it in a reasonable amount of time. So that's it. Um, I'm going to get out of here. I want to, again, thank everybody. The new um, Every time I get a subscriber, it does let me know, but I, ha I can't say thank you. So I'm saying thank you here. For all the subscribers, all the people who comment, Philip from RTX Honeybees, you, you've been there almost from the beginning. You always ask about my shirt. This one is self-explanatory. Undefeated, Miami Dolphins, 1972. Don Shula, Signature, Mercury Morris, Larry Zonka, all the greats. You look them up if you don't know. But the only NFL team to go in the undefeated season and win the Super Bowl. That's a little dig on my New England fans. Anyway, I love you guys, but <laughs> whew, I, I, I breathe a sigh of relief every time every team has at least one loss for the season, then we're good. All right, I'm out of here. That's enough of that. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm out of here. Y'all have fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in, seeing what I'm up to. Uh, believe me, when I do start building my daughter's hives, I got a lot of things going on up here. So once they start going, you want to stay tuned. So, oh, and I think I'll have a, a, a few of these at the North American Honey Bee Expo. So we'll see what, what, uh, what transpires. Maybe even some of these back here, the Set Sail Caribbeans, which I don't talk about that, but maybe, maybe next time that'll be story time. All right, I'm out of here. I'm rambling, as I do. I'm Jimmy from Jimmy's Neighborhood Bees. Uh, have fun with your bees, even in December.